Hello and welcome to our podcast, The Junkies, with me, Dave O'Neill, and... Me, Kitty Flanagan, the sweet and salty roundabout. Get on board. I'm trying to give us a catchphrase, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say that every week. I hope I'm walking down the street and some guy yells out, hey, sweet and salty roundabout. Get, Get on, on board. board. <laughs> Well, th- this week we're going to have a bit of a, a, a close look at Twisties. Yeah, it is. I know it's one of your favourites. It's one twisties. of my favourites too. Well, because, you know, for a long time, Twisties only came in two flavours. Yeah. Cheese and chicken. Now, what are you? Well, I think you can't go past a cheese twisty. No. Like, But what I like to do, I always buy both and then I eat mostly cheese but then occasionally a few mouthfuls of chicken. And then it just sends you back to the cheese twisty, and you just you appreciate both flavors. Oh, that's that's yeah, good. I do. I t- call it the twisty degustation. Yes, <laughs> and and it's quite common. Like when we're on tour, like with my sister and everything, we often get a bag of each, and that's what we'll have in the dressing room. And always, there's always more chicken left over at the end. Yes, because they have got a tendency. If you go too many of them, you do start to go. Oh, I think these taste a bit like wee. Don't you oh, find yeah, the chicken yeah. twisty? It well, tastes a bit like we. Your sister Penny, um, is she a junk food person? No. That's annoying. You isn't know, it? no, it's really annoying. And when we are on tour and we share a um we always share a like a service department rather than get hotel rooms. Yeah. So we share a two bedroom apartment and she invariably calls me the possum. She just goes, I just go to bed, like, at, you know, after the show, she goes to bed and then she goes, and I just hear this possum out there rustling, just eating biscuits <laughs> and chips. And I come out in the morning and there's just detritus everywhere because the possum's been out. And it really makes me feel bad about myself, but it hasn't stopped me eating the junk food. But knowing she's in there lying in bed judging me, and I try yeah. to eat really quietly, but she reckons she can hear me rustling <laughs> there like a <laughs> possum the in the fact. trees. I love it. <laughs> Well, so when my kids were little, I used to, you know, you got to reward yourself at night. Sure. And my partner, like your sister, is not into. She loves twisties, but she very restrained. Yeah. She has that, which I don't have that restraint. No. And so she often go to bed. I'll stay up late and I'll eat twisties. I'll drink diet coke and have some chocolate. But sometimes <laughs> I leave the wrappers still in the lounge room. And when my yeah. kid, my kids were little, would come and go, Dad, <laughs> someone's been having a party in the lounge room. And I said. <laughs> They were burglars, <laughs> and what happened is that they got all my food and they ate it, and then they they were onto me after a while because they would say, "Dad, the burglars have been again. They've had another party, <laughs> <laughs> and they're not stealing anything. No, they're just breaking in and having to a have party. a party. They they know yeah. where my junk food is. Um, all right, well, yeah, twisties. I am. It a big is fan. why I would like to live with someone, by the way, because I feel like if I lived with someone, I would eat so much better because I'd have someone in my house to judge me. Yes. Whereas living by myself, there's no one to judge me. No, no one's looking through my bin. But on the rare occasion when, you know, I've had a partner, I, I will, you know, eat the food and then put the wrappers in the bin outside like, oh, no, rather yeah. than in the kitchen that's, bin. <laughs> that's what I did last night. That's an old trick with my um, – what did I have last night? I had my – I sent you a photo. Honey soy chips. Oh, honey soy chicken chips, Which yeah. is like – I said they're like crack cocaine. They're unbelievable. Yeah, and I only eat those in hotel rooms. Yeah, that's interesting. I come, I come back after the gig – and the mini bar's there, and you think, oh, don't eat from the mini bar. You'll have to pay six bucks for those. Yeah. Or, you know, my plan is always, oh, I'm going to go out early in the morning. Got to go to 7 Eleven. Go and buy something. And then I just go, what's your time worth? Yeah. Two, two bucks for the chips? Just pay. You just did a big show off. somewhere. Don't we? You're making good money. <laughs> but yeah, don't I always eat the plain it. ones first, and then I go, oh, okay, now I'll eat them. It's true. You chicken. get judged a lot, and now that my children, I get judged by them. And then, <laughs> so when, I, when they were little, I used to hide behind the cupboard and eat. <laughs> just open the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> it always reminds me of. I'm not being to, like rude about your size, but no. that's a pretty big cupboard. It's a well, it's a de- yeah, it is a decent pantry door. Yeah, yeah. okay. It always I- reminds me of Denise Scott, who was a secret smoker, and she used to smoke <laughs> by the compost bins with her. <laughs> she set fire to a compost bin, but yeah, and now it's just well, that's why you'll find a lot of fat people eating their cars. I think mean, it's like that's what alcoholics drink in their car. That's what you do. That's what happens. When you're drink an in your car? Yeah, alcoholics drink in their car. Well, not like while they're driving. No, but just to hide from. Yeah, just to go and sit in the car. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, what we're going to do? Yeah, if we, twisties. We, we both bought uh, new brand, new flavors of twisties. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't. You didn't give me your rundown. Like you as the twisty aficionado. Okay. 
I'm guessing it's got. It's always cheese. No, it's that's, not always that's cheese. What you send me the party bag of all the time. Yeah, I love cheese, but I do occasionally go to chicken as well. But I don't. I don't mix the flavors like you do. Oh, okay. I go through stages, but it, it would be like 70, 30, 70 cheese, thirty chicken. Yeah. And in fact, yeah, my wife actually likes chicken, so that's why I sometimes get chicken mm. for her. But I, I really do stray towards cheese. Constantly. Your wife, I remember, put together like a oh, really yeah. good um, tuck shop bag. I came yeah. and did a gig at your school, and I said I'd only do yeah. it like if I got you know paid in tuck shop stuff. Yeah, and, and she put together a lunch order. Yeah, and she and she got a brown paper bag, and it had um, a buttered roll, yeah, a packet of twisties, so I could make a twisty buddy, and a chocolate milk. That yeah, was, that was the best like best rider ever. Yeah, oh, I agree. And Tom Gleason was on that night too, and, and he just went, "I don't want it," but he took six beers. <laughs> But he said, I don't want, because, you know, he doesn't like lollies. I know, it's really sad for him. It's sad for him. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like a, he's never going to listen to this podcast. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, uh, my wife was very excited that you took it, yeah. Oh, yeah, I loved it. We've done it a few years, and some people really get excited by it, and yeah. then other people are like, what? <laughs> what? Anyway, um, so, yeah, I'm more cheese twisty, but occasionally chicken, and I don't really like the new flavours that they bring out. They brought out... A barbecue one, I reckon, in the nineties for oh, a little I don't bit. Remember that? Yeah, I remember they brought out cheeseburger oh, flavor, yeah. which was a bit similar to that cheeseburger Dorito we had in the first uh, first episode. episode. <laughs> Going back in the uh, in the since, since this podcast for a while. <laughs> okay, so I've got a new flavor for you to try. You don't yep. know what it is, and you've got a new flavor for me. Yep. And we have. Let's take one each. I'll take. Okay, I'm oh, just, hang on. I'll take one no, of my one. Don't take yours. You have got to smell it first. You have got to be like a wine taster. See if you can get oh. the smell. Yeah, I reckon you'll get yours. That's a pretty – oh, hang on. Do you know what that is? Yours is quite oh, hard. Oh, man. I, I think I know what it is from the smell. I'm going to say satay something. No. No. Oh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say oh. bacon and something. Yeah. Bacon and – yeah. let me just try you're, one. You're pretty much there. Oh, it's a, a bacon flavour. It's a, just bacon and cheese? Yeah. But what? still, I thought – I haven't tried them, but I was pretty excited about that because one of my favourite snacks – is the Cheetos cheese and bacon ball. Oh, yeah. Or when I was growing up, they were called Fonzies. Yes. Do you the remember Fonz- they were called yeah. Fonzies? And what about tubes? The uh, often. <laughs> the often. <laughs> that the was tomato sauce. Flavor. Yes. They were a bit weird. Yeah, they were a bit weird. <laughs> but if you were desperate, you'd have them. Yeah, true. I'd never turn them down. But um, the Fonzies, cheese and bacon balls, one of my favourite things. So when I oh. saw the cheese and bacon twisty, I thought, oh, this is going to change my life. But you don't seem that impressed by well, it. Try one. Try one yeah, before okay. you have the one that I bought for you. They are nice, though. Do you think they're nice? Yeah, they're smoky. They're smoky. They're, You're they're right. Smokier. They're smoky bacon. Smokier than a cheese and bacon ball. Definitely. But, you know, there's this whole thing with bacon now where they have to smoke the crap out of it. I don't like it. I just like normal tasting bacon when it comes to actual eating the bacon and, and then actually eating things that taste like bacon. I don't like smoke. You don't want – so you don't want smoke in your bacon no. or you don't want smoke in your bacon flavour? Both. Both. I think maybe because I grew up as a scout and we had a lot of campfire food. And I don't, I don't like the taste of smoke in my food. Well, in England, it's like really specific. Like you either buy smoked bacon or unsmoked bacon. Oh, they should like have there's, that here. There's, there's, two, there's always two lots on the shelf. Yeah, that's what they should have here. Because I go to the guy in the deli, I want bacon that's not smoky. Oh, you it's can, all smoke. You can get it in the supermarket. You just have to look for the one that's not smoked. Okay. Yeah. Good tip. Yeah. All right. Now it's time for you to try the okay. one that I've bought in for you. Oh, man. Now, it's, it is, it is it's actually. a very familiar smell. Is it? Can yeah. I have a smell? Can I have a smell of that? Oh yes, yes, <laughs> it is. It is. It's got. You know what? You know what? It's. It's the. Can you? It's can you? It's like a cuisine. Can I just say this? It's actually sort of like a cuisine. It's yeah. actually a meal that's been turned into a twisty. Okay. So you would have this meal so I somewhere. Wasn't close with satay. No, you're wrong part of the world. Oh, I'm in the wrong part of the world. Wrong part of the world. Oh. It's not Malaysian or Indonesian. Okay. You've oh, got to. Gee, I'm gonna have to taste it. Just more. taste it. Here we go. Can you get it? No. Can I have a taste? Yeah. Let me have a taste. All no, right. I don't okay. know what that is. Oh, it's got a – oh, it's like it's got paprika in it. Yeah. Hey, it would have. Okay. It would have. Mm. Mm. Um, I mean, I know what it is, but that, that doesn't taste to me what I think it is. God. I don't know. Is it goulash or something? That's the only thing I can think that's oh. got paprika in it. You're going to reveal? Do you want me to reveal? Yeah, okay, reveal. Nachos flavoured twisties. Oh. <laughs> But that, ah, okay. Now, can you taste it? I can now. Yeah, oh, yeah. 
and in a really unpleasant way. Yeah, like it's it not good. It was actually nicer before you. Yes. <laughs> before you told me not to. <laughs> now I'm starting to taste, it and it tastes a bit like sick. Yeah, I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't eat those. No, that's like eating cold nachos, like cold leftover nachos. Yeah. No, it's yeah. not. I've got the taste in my mouth. No, it's no that's good. No, no, I'm gonna have to, it's no I'm good. I'm going to have to rinse. Hang all on. right. <laughs> no good at all. So I think we can say nachos twist is no good. No. Bacon and cheese, okay. Yeah, bacon and cheese, not bad. Not but bad. they are. It's a smoky bacon. So it's if you like bacon. Dave and you don't like your, smoke, your bacon smoked, give him a miss. Stick to cheese and chicken. <laughs> And now it's time for a segment called Please Discuss, where we just discuss random snack things. Yeah. Well, now that I know, you know, you're always my go-to, my touchstone for like, what do you think of this? What do you yeah. think of that? So now instead of having to text you, now I just bring in something and say, what do you think of this? And this week, Dave, mm-hmm. to discuss, I've brought in Whitakers because I know you're a fan of Whitakers. Love Whitakers. It's a New Zealand brand, isn't it? Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. There yeah. it is. Um, Whitakers peanut butter chocolate. Oh, well, you know, peanut butter is my favourite spread. I is love it? peanut butter okay. over, you know, um, Vegemite or Nutella or crunchy, whatever. Crunchy, smooth. Oh, crunchy. I crunchy, love crunchy yeah, peanut butter. you got to go crunchy, don't you? Oh, I wish I'd known. I made some um, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. I would have brought you some. Oh. Really like them. Yeah, I've got I'm, this really good recipe. I'll yes. I'll some next time. Just, no, yeah. Sure. So what's your vibe on this? That looks like a well, milk chocolate. I don't want to – yeah, I don't want to um, – Influence your decision. I want to just hear what your opinion is because I've already tasted it. I was going to bring it in and we're going to taste it together, yes, but I've had opened. it for a week. <laughs> this is like when a kid brings a present to your party and have you played with Kaplunk? <laughs> I just, it was burning a hole in my pocket. I had to try it. Ooh. You'll notice there's a whole row missing. <laughs> it might even be two rows, two rows. missing. <laughs> yeah, what are you yeah, thinking? Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. I don't mind. Not great. I didn't think it was great either. No, not you know. I don't. I don't mind a cream. I like a snack. You know the snack, yeah. the Kirby snack, and I love a pineapple snack. I love a pineapple yeah, snack. I love a pineapple snack. I used to be a big Caramello Frog fan too. Oh, Caramello Koala. Sorry, Caramello correction. Koala. Yeah, correction. Yeah. I don't mind a strawberry Freddo either. Oh yeah, but I Peppermint don't. Freddo, I like too. Oh yeah, mm. but I have to say. Yeah, it leaves you a bit cold, doesn't it? Maybe because I expect the consistency of peanut butter, and I'm getting the consistency of a caramel. Yeah, it's not it's not pasty enough for peanut You're butter. Right, it's not pasty enough. It's, it's kind of cream. It's yeah. like peanut butter mixed with something. And the other thing is, I don't I don't really like the chocolate. No, it says it's milk chocolate, but it tastes like dark chocolate to me. I don't like it. It tastes a bit dark, actually. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, I was really disappointed, and it comes only in a massive block. So I've got a whole block of it. I mean, yeah. obviously, I managed to get through two rows of it before yeah. I made my decision. Well, you had to make, you had to do the research, <laughs> Kitty. And I could possibly eat more, but but I, you know I, what? Like, have you ever had a Reese's peanut butter cup? Yeah, one of the few good American They're chocolates. Good. That is, mm. and because the peanut butter in that is like grainy but sweet. I like grainy. It's got pe- a texture. Yes, yeah. yes. I don't like that smoothness of the yeah. peanut butter. It's really well, good. Well, Whitaker's. That's very disappointing because I, mm. I love the Whitaker's coconut. Bar? Yep, the coconut slab. The coconut slab, sorry. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> and I love the normal dairy. I actually love dairy milk, the Whitaker's dairy milk. I really like that. And I love the hokey. They do a hokey pokey or a, with bits of stuff in it, like bits of caramel and uh, oh, bits like of violet honeycomb. crumble. The honeycomb yeah. kind of one. Oh, where do you stand on violet crumble versus crunchy bar? Oh, yeah, we've got to, we've got to do that. Oh, you want to save that? Yeah, we'll, we'll save that. that. <laughs> we're going to save that. Because I, I believe one has superior honeycomb and one has superior chocolate. Ooh, and they're, yeah. all, they're on the wrong I bars. Exa- and I think they're I know exactly yeah. what you mean. They're on the wrong bars. Teaser for next episode. <laughs> Get it together, guys. Merge <laughs> and then make the perfect violet crumble slash crunchy. Anyway, don't, don't buy that one. It's no good. Well, thanks for listening to our podcast. We'll be back on The Junkies. <laughs>